Hello and welcome to Dinner Views. I'm Matthew Francis and this is the show where I get to cook a dream dinner for my amazing friends here in Hollywood and then interview them about their life, their career, and their points of view on the world. If you missed any of the 11 episodes from season one, you can find all the hour-long interviews here on YouTube or wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts. I also now have all the recipe videos up on YouTube so you can literally watch your favorite guest's dinner be cooked from start to finish. But today is the season two premiere of Dinner Views. So for season two, my guests are Kelsey Dara. Oh my God, that intro was incredible. I didn't go into this talking about mental health being like, I want to help other people. It was like, right. no, I want to help myself. Yeah, yeah, help like, me please. Help me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I have no other fucking choice. I feel like I've goddamn done everything internally that I possibly could. Rie McClenny. Hello, <laughs> my shoes. I feel like it's very difficult to find what you want to do to begin with. So if you find it and try it and you truly enjoyed it, it's easy. Like you just walk hard and you can get there. It comes naturally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gadiel de Orbe. Woo! Damn, that was good. Always support your friend. Always elevate. We adapt their habits. Yeah. They win, I win. You surround yourself with people that are better than you, you're gonna be a better person. Yeah. It's just called homeostasis. Yeah. Katie Aubin. <laughs> what an intro. No, I just think like it's that's what's so hard about art. Anything you're gonna do, do it for you, not for other people. Because if yeah. nobody likes it, especially as an artist, and nothing happens with it, then why did you waste your time doing it? Daisha Veronica. <laughs> At the end of the day, when you trust your gut, like you trust yourself. Like, I've just learned to like take time to just sit with myself and my thoughts. Yeah. I know what's best for me. Rose Therno. <laughs> I was just, I just happened to be lying down. Yeah. And another thing that's really important is oftentimes anxious people are not attracted to secure people. It seems boring because mm. they like the roller coaster of like, I love you, I don't love you, I'm here, I'm not here, I'm charming, I'm fabulous. Like a lot of times avoided people give you breadcrumbs and come in and out. So it's also becoming aware enough to be like, hey, this feeling of boring is actually healthy. Yes. Wow. Kristen Cherico. If you have like a little bit of talent, moving out to a major city to work in entertainment is a tournament. The goal of the tournament is to outlast all the other participants in the tournament and they will drop out. They will leave. But your goal is to stay and keep doing good work until everyone else drops out and then you win. Ryan Graham. That was the sweetest thing ever, Matt. Oh. Because I battle with depression. I learned to be like, that is not you. Shut the energy out and like reach out to yeah. like people. Yeah, give me I, love, give me support. Yeah, I just, yeah. yeah, and so I've learned to cope. Even the happiest people in the world can be going through things. And like, I think that's also why it's important to be kind. You legitimately don't know what people are going through. Exactly. Sky Cohen's. Hello! You have your physical exercise, eating, your mindfulness, sleep, drinking water. What's your digital health look like? How many hours a day are you spending on Instagram comparing yourself to other people? Use it as a tool rather than be something that completely destroys you because it absolutely can. Totally. Jasmine J. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. Of course, of course. People probably assume like I'm this big ball of confidence all the time and no one's confident all the time. And not every day is a good day, but not every day is a bad day either. Yeah. And it's just facilitating facilitating through those. Crystal Hatch. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> as you become more confident in yourself and like the story that you're trying to tell, yeah. there are times where it is important to fight for those little moments that maybe don't mean so much to someone else, yeah. but you know when you fight for those and then the other person on the other end is like, fine, whatever, keep it. Then it goes out and like, that's the part everybody loves. That works, yeah. And you're like, I knew it. Arya Inthavong. Hey! In this lifetime, we have a finite amount of time. Every little moment is worth having. We should never allow the fear of failure to stop us from doing so. I just say hell yeah to whatever, yeah. and I go for it. And Cullen Folks. <laughs> that is sweet. I love you. I love you. As flighty as I can be, here and there and everywhere, like pack my bag, go. My experiences is what gives me life. That's what you have. You have your stories and your friendships, all the memories. Your jobs are gonna come and go. Your money's gonna come and go. None of that stuff is gonna bring you long-term happiness. Yeah. Wow, wasn't that great? 
And that's only a tiny tidbit of all the wonderful moments of season two. If you want to enjoy more of Dinner Views, all the links to my library of content is in the description box below. I also would be so thankful if you would subscribe to this channel on YouTube or subscribe and follow Dinner Views wherever you get your podcasts. If you have any friends or family that want something to listen to while they're eating or they're cooking, this is the perfect show for them. Thanks for hanging out with me. It's been an incredible year so far, and I can't wait to share more with you next week with the first episode of season two. I'll see you then. Peace out.